This is Mary at Mini Album Scraps. Minialbumscraps.ning.com. My YouTube is Sugar Grove Crafts. And this is the a mini miniature Altoid tins that we took and made into an artichoke charm. So you needed had to take one of the mini Altoid tins and create your version of the artichoke charm out of the mini Altoid. And then we also did the same swap. You had the option to sign up for the large um, Altoid box and create a dangle to put inside. And those will be up, up next. But these are the mini Altoids. And the first ones are by Jennifer Mertens. And these are Jennifer's. But I'm just going to show you the one. Oops. So this is her box. And they have to be able to be hung on a presentation so because it is a charm. So hers is hanging up there. And inside, she created this little scene. And you could sign up for one, two, or three. So she chose to do three. The other one, um, she has a hanger with all the things hanging from it. It's really pretty. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for joining. And next up are Evelyn Robinson's. These are so pretty. Evelyn and I are friends and we Skype a lot so I was able to watch her create and see what she was doing. There. Look at this chain. Isn't that neat? The gears on it. And these are the resin wings and she paint them. I'm not sure which is Pearl X, but they're really pretty. And that's her dangle. So that's by Evelyn Robinson. Beautiful, beautiful, Evelyn. Okay, and next are Marla's. She's also known as Echo. This thanks up here. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get this one. So pretty and elegant. It's funny because after you know I've, these people kind of join the same swaps of mine over and over, so I kind of get to know their style. And Marla just has an elegant. She has an elegant style, definitely. I love the little cameo. So thank you, Marla. Next up is Colleen Sherlock. Oh, look at this chain. Can you see that? I gotta open it, Colleen. This is too pretty. And put your card inside. I forgot to show you guys cards. That's Colleen. Let's see. Marla's information. There was Marla's. I forgot to show you. Those were Marla's. And Jennifer's. So this is Colleen's. And 
it says the journey is the destination so pretty look at this little knob it's created of a brad and a little flower that is gorgeous Colleen Okay, next up, it's Kate Smart. Oh, how neat. Oh, let's go figure out how to open it, Kay. Okay, I'm going to have to open it up my way and then I'll put it in a baggie for whoever gets it. Oh man, this is neat. Bitter wire. And that's the back. Looks like, um, looks like a, I don't know, like a, f what do you call those things the flower pots are made out of? It's so thick. It's neat, really a neat finish. And can you see inside? <laughs> that is so neat. The clock. You yeah, did yourself, Kay. Hi, that is neat. Did a great job of incorporating that charm in there. Oh, that tin. Okay, so those are by Kay. And next up is Virginie. And Virginie lives in Japan, so I'm like really super excited that she participates in our swaps. She makes great stuff. why she did that. She put that in there so oh my gosh. Look at that. Look up there. That, that little guy. And can you see everything on there? This little chain and and then I'm going to close it. Well, I'm not going to close it because I'm going to put that back in it. And then she's made this so that you can hang it on wherever you want. That is super. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at the back. It's totally finished. Okay. So, no. That goes in there. Thank you, Virginia, and thank you for participating. Last one up is David Millard's. Like I said, you could sign up and just do one, two, or three. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. He made it into a, a cuckoo clock. It's got a black button back here. He's Just be able to see everything. These are so pretty. They don't look like paper. Look at the inside. It's 
So shred the poems, let the wild birds chase them in the breeze, let them make their nests from words like please. He's got pieces of the words over here. The little wire nest he made, the eggs he made. And David sent me these. He collects silk ties and he uses them in his projects, strips of them. And he sent me some to use. I don't know if you guys saw the um, thimble, the altered thimble swap that we just did. He used a lot of these hanging from his thimble. And it was really, they're really, really pretty. Great idea. So I'm really excited to get to use these. Here's this little note. These are great accents for vintage products. They are cut from vintage silk neckties and will fray slightly at the edges but will not unravel. I always keep my owl, owl, eye out for unique patterns and colors in thrift stores. Isn't that just a great idea? It's totally cool. Thank you so much, David. I really appreciate that. Just the idea is sharing that idea with everybody is awesome. So, thank you. And that's it for the mini Altoids. And next up, I'll be doing the larger Altoid boxes. Tens. Altoid tens. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.